Quarter away from 10 o'clock, it's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160 and 101.1 FM, our conversation with Clinton Smith, campaign chair for the United Way of Indiana County this year, brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. There he is again. Clint, hey good morning. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you? Wonderful. Good to have you with us here today. It's a big day, isn't it? It's a big day. There's a, It's a big day for soup, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a soup kind of day anyway. Yeah, it, it really is. I, I was thinking of that this morning when I was trying to memorize what the soups are for today. I was like, uh -huh. man, that sound, all of them sound good for today. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, yeah. they got you covered. Okay, so the details. So there's three different soups. Uh, there is a chicken pastina. There is a tomato gorgonzola, which I hear is a lot of people's favorite. Um, and really there's good. also a sausage, white bean, and uh, cabbage. cabbage. Yeah, mm -hmm. so see, I haven't memorized this time. <laughs> uh, $7 for a donation to the United Way. Uh, there's a lot of delivery orders going out, so thank you to everyone that already delivered this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll also be taking orders for takeout inside of NAPS. And okay. you can also come in there and dine. So right around 11 o'clock, you'll see me in there serving. Uh, there so you go. guys can come down and I'll wait on you too. All right, there you go. So the official time for the event at Naps Kachina Mia in downtown Indiana is? I believe it's 11 or 11.30. I really should know that at this According point. According to your form, it's 11.30. Yes, so yeah. I'm glad. Don't show up early. 11.30, we'll be starting. Uh, <laughs> show up early just to watch Clinton at work there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> last year, it was. Uh, I served last year and I kept forgetting everyone's bread. And believe me, if you forget someone's role, they will remind you. That's, so That's good. Especially this year, at least, I won't forget anybody's bread. When it's supplied by uh, Six Hand Bakery. Yeah. yeah. Six Hands Bakery is an awesome sponsor this year. We also have Turner's Dairy Farm. So I went this morning to Bilo, to Valeski's Bilo, picked up uh, like a dozen things of drinks. So okay. there's lemonade, tea, and I think like a diet lemonade also, okay. and a diet tea. Okay. Yeah. And you've got, of course, Naps is a sponsor. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for Naps, we wouldn't have been able to do this. They were a restaurant week sponsor for us last week uh, for restaurant week. Mm -hmm. um, and they do this every year. It's a huge fundraiser. It's actually the last big fundraiser of the year. Yeah, and Market Street Pastries? Also helped out. They're actually giving out cookies that we're gonna put with the delivery orders. So if you had a delivery order, you should be getting some cookies with Get your meal today too. too. Wow, yeah. there you go, there you go. So the United Way Super Bowl is happening today. Naps Kachina Mia. 10.33 Philadelphia Street, 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. And as you said, uh, Clinton, this is the last of the big events that you have before you get to the, the annual breakfast. Yeah, the annual breakfast is coming up next month, February 20th. It's at the Rustic Lodge again this year. Uh, we just picked out the menu. We changed up the menu a little bit. So if you're used to having the same breakfast every year at it, it's going to be a little bit different this year. But mm -hmm. uh, it's at Roseanne's and uh, February 20th. We're still about 10% from goal. So we still have about 77 thousand dollars to go or seventy one thousand dollars to go okay um so we still have a pretty big gap to fill um yeah. in between now and then so you were here a couple of weeks ago you were 85 percent. so now you're at 90 percent. yeah unfortunately this this year um we did a lot of corporate sponsors so a lot of stuff was structured into the beginning of the year mm -hmm. last year you know joe, whenever joe was in my shoes he was making some pretty significant jumps still at this year but we're slowly coming up a very small percentage every okay. week so need a big push yeah big push yeah. here in the co last couple of weeks and you know you said that the breakfast is when February 20th. So there's time. Yeah. There's time. People. Yeah, we still have tons of time. There's still a lot of people in the community that uh, we know we're going to give. It's just trying to collect that last little bit. It's, mm -hmm. uh, we kind of, every year we sit down and we kind of think of who still has to give in the end of the year. And then, you know, what do we have all together? We still are coming up that we have about $25,000 that we don't know where it's going to come from. So oh, okay. that's a huge amount of money to come up with in that short amount of time. All right, so let's see what we can do about that. Yeah. Uh, and, and so for people who don't know why they should give to the United Way of Indiana County. So I've been telling this story all year long. Uh -huh. uh, United Way is really awesome. You know, they do so much stuff in the community. Uh, I went out and met with all of the partner agencies, places like Accessibilities, Life Steps, Head Start, Camp Arenda, the Alice Paul House, the Open Door, Boy Scouts of America, Girl Scout, or, uh, Boy Scouts of America, Girl Scouts, um, and there's also other more. We also support the Evergreen After School Club with our uh, community action program. So there's really a ton of places in the community that we hit. Catholic Charities is also a partner agency and they help elderly people that can't pay their bills in sure. you know, wintertime. Mm -hmm. So there's really so many different places that we touch in the community and it really, uh, it takes everyone together to really make this campaign happen too. Yeah, so that means that there are opportunities 
for people to give. Yes. If somebody has not been contacted or somebody just says to themselves, you know, I've, I've just never made that decision before to give the United Way, yeah. what do they need to do? Uh, they can call the United Way. They can uh, do it online. You can also do it on Facebook. Facebook is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, you can also just write a check and send it in. I think it's 655 Suite 104, Indiana, Pennsylvania, 15701. Am I going off memory? Is that good? Uh, you got me. I mean, <laughs> uh, I'll you, look at this sheet here and I'll let you know. Yeah, it's their website is uwindianacounty.org, mm -hmm. and you can donate on the website too. All right. Keep talking while I look it yeah. up. Well, yeah. No, it's, uh, you would think I would have our address memorized by now, but I'm <laughs> too busy uh, remembering soups. Um, but it is uh, right here in Indiana. I mean, honestly, the easiest way, if you're going to get a check-in right now, the best way is probably to bring it into the office. That way there's no downtime with, with mail. Mm -hmm. Here we go. United Way of Indiana County, and there's all the information that you need on the Facebook, or on the, well, they do a Facebook page too, uh, but the website page of uwindianacounty.org. And uh, mailing address, let's find it, Quentin. We'll oh, do it together do it. here, huh? I can this, find it. This is exciting. We're on this a race is, now at this point. This is radio here. Here we go. It's 655 Church Street, Suite 114, Indiana, PA, 15701. I was close. Just a little bit dyslexic. Yeah, well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the information out there. You know what? You send it to Indiana County United Way, they're going to get it. Yeah. They're going to get it. And yeah. that's the important thing. Giving to the United Way is a tradition for a lot of companies. And for a lot of individuals, too. And that's one of the things that always heartens me about our Teddy Bear Fund Drive campaign is there are people that put it on their calendar, give to this organization, that organization, and United Way's like that. Yeah, there really are. There's a ton of, um, we actually had our, I talked about them earlier, our corporate sponsors this year. They really helped us start out the year. It was Krebs United Publication, Rosebud Mining, Thomas M. Frick Insurance, Government and Civil Employee Services, and the Rishkini Agency, they really do a ton of stuff for the United mm -hmm. Way, and they really are the ones that set the pace for the year. Um, and their employee campaign comes in first. So if, if I didn't really mention how what we do, everyone understands we take all this money, the goal, the money that we get from goal, we take that and give that to those partner agencies yeah. that we talked about earlier. So all of the money that you give stays right here in Indiana County. Yeah, that's the exciting thing. Yeah. Because uh, there are so many organizations in need, so many organizations that really do rely upon the United Way campaign. Yeah. Uh, for a lot of them, they don't have fundraising mechanisms built in. They hope that people will give to help them keep going and offering the services that they do. But it's the United Way that really comes through for them. Yeah, the United Way, it's 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 weird because it's not like any other organization really in our area. They support so many different organizations. It's really spread throughout our community. So we're really good stewards. I know that the allocations team, Mark Cromer from s and Bank, he uh, heads up the allocations team. And every year they sit down with applications and look through everyone's applications to really decide where the money is needed in Indiana County. And mm -hmm. I mean, this is going back 30, 40 years now, yeah. uh, maybe even longer than that. So it's really something that, I mean, I like Indiana. I think it's a great community. And I don't think that it would be as nice if it wasn't for the things that the United Way does here. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. So, so they'll make those decisions. And uh, it's you know that, uh, that they're treating the money and the funds that are collected right yeah. in, the, in the correct way so that they can help the most people and in the best way. Yeah. Uh, so those decisions will be made. Meanwhile, you've got the uh, the breakfast coming up next month, Yep. and you've got some time between now and then where we're asking people to step up. Yeah. Uh, by next month, I'm going to look more, I'm looking more and more frazzled as we get closer <laughs> to goal. So I would really That's like- That's your frazzled look yes, that you got I, on I today? would like to go to sleep and not think about the United Way when I go to sleep and when I wake up in the morning, <laughs> and I'm almost there. So pretty soon. At the end of today, you're going to be thinking about bean soup. Yeah. Is yeah. what you're going to be thinking about. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? On a day like today. All right. So one more time. Navska Chino Mia today. Yep. 11.30 a.m. is when it opens. Yep, 11.30 to 2. They have three different types of soup, chicken pastina, tomato gorgonzola, and a sausage with white bean and cabbage. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a $7 donation to the United Way. It also includes a drink and a, a roll. And if you're getting delivery, you're also going to get a cookie from Market Street Pastries. There you go. Can't yeah. beat it. Clinton, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming in. Now go go make some soup, won't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I'll be serving all day. Yeah. Come see me. He's serving and he's not making it, so you're serving. <laughs> it is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM eleven sixty and one oh one point one FM.